हम दोनों भारत पेट्रोलियम भारत पेट्रोलियम को रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं हम लोगों को ओडिया नहीं आती समझते हैं लेकिन हम लोग विल ट्राई टू स्पीक इन हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश भारत पेट्रोलियम इज सेटिंग अप सेकेंड जनरेशन बायोथनॉल रिफाइनर एट बारगढ़ Uh, it is in Bolsinga village uh, uh, in Bargad district. Here we are going to use rice straw, which is right now wasted or uh, burnt. That we are going to collect it and process it and uh, produce bioethanol. This bioethanol is going to be used in the petrol blending. Now, right now we are blending around all over India, we are blending around 10% ethanol in the petrol. This product is also going to be used for blending purpose. Uh, uh, for this, we, are, uh, we require around uh, uh, this uh, plant ke liye, uh, hum logon ko per day, we require around 700 metric tons of rice straw, which will be collected from the nearby villages. We are going to have a collection centers. There is going to be an aggregator. Aggregator is going to collect from the farmers. He is going to supply to us on daily basis. And we require around 700 metric tons per day rice straw. And this, pro this plant is going to generate a lot of uh, direct and indirect employment. We expect around 300 to 400 people working on daily basis. Uh, we expect around 1,500 to 2,000 people uh, working in the field during harvesting season. And we are going to produce around 100, 1 lakh liters per day ethanol. And uh, we are also integrating uh, one more plant, it is called 1G ethanol. 1G ethanol, we are going to make it from uh, waste uh, rice grains or surplus rice grains, which is available uh, in Bargad, and we are going to procure it from uh, Food Corporation of India. Uh, this, uh, we are expecting three, four benches from this plant. One is, as uh, Mr. Rao said, you will hear that there is so much pollution in Delhi. It is because of crop burning. Basically, it is because of rice straw burning in Western UP, Punjab and Haryana. Even we have seen in Bargad, so many people are burning it. That we are going to minimize, not uh, eliminate to nahi kar paayenge, lekin, but we are going to use a lot of rice straw and minimize burning here also. So, uh, one, more, uh, one more advantage is that ki, uh, uh, it is a green fuel and uh, it is going to create uh, uh, lesser pollution in the vehicles also from vehicles and it is going to lot of gen uh, it is going to generate lot of income in the villages because we are going to use almost three, uh, 300 tractors per day for transportation of rice straw from the plant to the collection centers that is going to generate lot of indirect employment also now i don't have i don't want to talk to about uh, talk about uh, technology plant technology because we have less time here now I am requesting uh, Praveen Chendge, who is our, uh, uh, he is a doctorate in agriculture. He is, going, he is handling our biomass supply chain model. He is going to explain about biomass supply chain model. model.